Hey guys, Chase with EOTech, and I'm here with Box from Caldwell. Thank you very much, sir, for being here. Thank you. And we wanted to go over their very awesome Velosa radar, which is available very soon. Uh, but it's got a lot of really cool features that you're not gonna see from, I don't even know if there are competitors to this, really, compared to what you guys have. Yeah, I mean, there's some radar chronographs on the market, but this is doing more than just your standard chronograph. Yeah, and so from an, an optics company standpoint, this is awesome for the data it's gonna give you and the ability that's gonna give you with all that data to really dial in your zero and your dope, uh, whether that's first, second focal plane, all your different ballistic reticles, all that stuff. This amount of information that this is providing is, it's fantastic, man. So first off, uh, we'll go into the 5.7 shooting that we did, because that's yeah. kind of a cool round, but first off, you mind just going over the system? Yeah, so what, what it is, it's a radar chronograph, mm -hmm. and what kind of makes that special is a traditional chronograph, we would have sat down range and it had light sensors, and you had to wait for the line to go cold, mm -hmm. uh, which can be a problem, and then you had to shoot really close to it uh, to catch the, capture the bullet. Well, this sits on the bench next to the shooter, um, it's using, it's emitting radar, yep. and that radar is detecting the bullet speed. Well, there are other radar chronographs on the market, as I mentioned. Uh, they use a type of radar called Doppler. Mm -hmm. uh, the limitations of a Doppler radar is that Doppler only knows speed. It doesn't know the distance that the bullet is at when it measures the speed. Mm -hmm. We use a chirp radar, and what makes that different is that it goes out and think of it in like bursts or like timed um, segments that we mm -hmm. know start and stop. And so we can measure the distance the bullet's at and the speed that when we capture that. So, and it's very, it's very accurate in its, in its measurement. It goes down to like the 10th of an inch wow. and 10th of a foot per second. And so what makes that neat and what, what that allows us to do that no, nobody else is doing is we can measure the velocity drop between those measurements. Mm -hmm. And that's your drag, like that's caused by, by drag on the bullet. And then we can put that into a formula and calculate a G1 or a G7 ballistic coefficient. So whatever kind of bullet you're shooting, you're gonna have a, a, basically a ballistic solver for that. You're gonna get a ballistic coefficient for that rifle, for that round, at that velocity, um, which is, is really, it hasn't been possible to get yeah. until now. That's awesome. And you were saying, I think you said on the, the app, it'll pull down atmospherics as well? Yes. So you when can you, actually when do that you for save, different environments? Yeah, when you save your string, it'll use your uh, cell phone, cell data, to pull your uh, all your atmospherics, your, your elevation and all that for mm -hmm. when you capture that shot string, so it saves it. Um, the other thing on the ballistic coefficient, it allows you to monitor for stability. So if you're seeing swings in your ballistic coefficient, that's a good indication that um, the bullet may not be stabilizing. Or maybe we damage the jacket in the loading process, or maybe in the the ammunition coming up out of the magazine, mm -hmm. and it's and it's getting a real bad nasty scar or something like yeah. that. That'll actually show on that ballistic coefficient as as you're shooting and monitoring. So like I say I like to say it is a chronograph, but then it's it's a lot more than a chronograph. Yeah, it is. Uh, what is the maximum range this will give you data out to? Um, on bigger, slower bullets, it's out to a hundred yards. You get um, faster, smaller bullets, like mm -hmm. 20 cal, 17 cal. It's not as far, but we can calculate a ballistic coefficient within, you know, 100 feet. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So really, whatever you're zeroing and get yeah. to pull data on, yeah, you could. That's that's awesome. Okay. So we were uh, out shooting some some 57 ammunition. Uh, we've got some data which you guys will be seeing on the screen right now. So first off, we were going through. I believe it was the Federal 40 grain. Yes. Um, and so what was the, we shot five round groups just to get an, a solid average. Um, and five seven is an interesting round uh, anyway, but as you can see, so, so our yeah, BC was, yeah, 0.11. That, that's pretty yeah, cool. Which is, um, which is pretty, uh, so federal, which would have been our first one, yep. 0.157. Oh, so that was a more uh, FMJ. Mm -hmm. We had a average velocity of 2124. Okay. What's interesting is then we go up to the Fiocchi, mm -hmm. you know, we had a pretty similar BC, a little bit higher. Our velocity went up, which I would expect the BC to go up with velocity increase. Sure. It's just, it's, it's more efficient. And then we go here, the Hornady was that flat, critical defense. Yep. And then, yeah, we're back down to 0.117. Yeah. But we still kept up a 20, uh, 23, 26 feet per second. So that was the, the fastest, fastest, lowest ballistic coefficient, which makes sense with the bullet the profile, bullet. right? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. really cool that you're, you know, there's a lot of different bullet shapes out there. And the fact that you're able to see that high of a resolution of data 
that's that is that is very cool. Uh, and one of the things that we were su su surprised by, also not surprised by, sort of both, was how well we were shooting the the Voodoo X on there, which is our new line of rifle scopes. Uh, and it was I think it was 50 yards. Yeah. And that thing was absolutely stacking around. So again, if you guys are looking at alternate calibers or maybe you really you find an optic you really like or you want maybe want to move an optic to different guns those optics are actually holding for calibers you might not always expect are going to work which is you know pretty cool like for me i know um i have kids they're getting to the point they're getting into shooting but they still like 22 long rifle more than like 556 five, or something yeah. like that i could take the optics transition over i'm saving money but he's still getting to train my kids and that's a really cool thing and with this now I actually know, you know it almost increases the amount of responsibility you have on you know what you every round you put out, right? Right. So that that is super cool, and I really dig the fact that you guys have a little peep sight, kind of like a claymore. Yeah, which yeah. You I, just... I, I I nerded out on a little bit. It's fantastic. <laughs> I, I love that. Yeah. If you guys ever want to change the name to to the claymore, I would. That's our clay th target thrower. <laughs> <laughs> we have a claymore. Do you? Re yeah, I really do. That's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome, man. Um, so I know we wanted to go over a little bit just the, the functionality of this because uh, you yeah. guys did so much work on the programming and software side of this to make it simple with what is ultimately really pretty complex uh, algorithmic uh, you know, sort of magic you got going on here. So how does this work yeah, overall? So it'll Bluetooth to your phone. You have a free app. Mm -hmm. um, and what's cool is that once you get that lined up on target, yep. you can control the whole unit right here from your phone. Okay. So we can start and stop, save strings. I actually put it in a demo mode, and I'll just let you push that button okay. right there, and that'll show the shots. And see, now we're getting a live update. All right. And so you get the same uh, screen as what's on here, mm -hmm. and then you can come up here and pull up each shot and all of its data too. Um, nice. If we wanted to see like, oh, look, we picked up all these um, velocities at these distances. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yep. And so then if you were running maybe like a longer range setup, you could put that in a ballistic computer and you're getting, I mean, it's really like you're zeroing, chronographing, and almost truing your rifle all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. What's really neat with that ballistic coefficient, that adjusted ballistic coefficient is, uh, and we were talking about this yesterday, is in the past I'd side in a rifle and it would be okay to maybe 500 yards. Mm -hmm. When we got out to 1,000, it would be hitting low. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I was using a ballistic coefficient that the manufacturer gave me that was sometimes just a little bit higher than what I was actually experiencing in my load. It's not that the manufacturer is wrong, but we run such velocity ranges different from what they tested at mm -hmm. that you just see like, oh, well, it's like, oh man, I'm a couple tenths of a mil low, mm -hmm. which at a thousand yards, I mean, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah. So where you may not notice it at the shorter distances, you get out longer distances, it becomes a problem. Yeah. Um, and then like I say, I, I've started using it uh, to monitor and make sure that my reloading process that I'm not damaging that bullet. Oh yeah, um, and just watching that BC. So it's it's really it's a neat tool to use. Well, and another value is a lot of guys don't have the ability to shoot out to a thousand all the time. Yeah. Maybe they're going to zero at fifty or hundred based on their caliber, and then they're going to have that once or twice a year trip, right? And you get out there, atmospheric difference. You haven't shot that far in a while. Yep. How good is your data really? Right. How you, you actually know? You never had the opportunity to actually true your data. Yeah. Uh, at distance, and yeah, you're you're gonna miss. And I, yeah, we talked about that. The guys that can practice at 100 or 200 mm -hmm. and go to a PRS match that has 800 yard targets and they're a couple MOA target, you're, you're, you'll shoot out the bottom of them usually. Yeah. You know, it's pretty common. Yeah, well, and, and again, going back to the whole, you know, if you've got your ballistic computer, you've got this kind of data and you know your reticle, you know your round, you can pull all that down and it's not, it isn't that, sort of law of averages. I took the manufacturer's info. I said basically yeah. what the Blitz computer said. i pretty sure I know my holds based on the, the reticle. This is, math doesn't lie and the bullet doesn't lie and, and this is proving. Real data. Yeah, yep. that's fantastic. Yeah. So one of the other cool things about getting this kind of data and something you mentioned the, um, is you're actually gonna get bullet drop in the app when this yes. is launching? Yeah. Okay, so the idea we were kicking around is obviously for BDC's first focal plane, it's easier because it's consistent through the range of magnification. Yeah. But with second focal plane, you were walking me through how this might work to actually know your holds through the entire range of magnification. Yeah, we were talking like uh, for the 2 to 12 model, for instance, mm -hmm. it has at 12 power, two minutes between the dots. Yeah. Um, so if you take that and multiply it by your erector factor of six on that, and so if we go down to two power, right. you get uh, 12 minutes. So, and then you can split it in between. But what's mm -hmm. neat on this is you'll literally have like your drop, it'll say, okay, you're zero at 100, you're dropping so many inches at 200, so many inches, and you can kind of line that up, mm -hmm. and inches are roughly minutes, 
you know, Roughly. at 100, right. and, and we can kind of do that quick math, mm -hmm. and it's pretty easy to convert, and then all of a sudden your BDC reticle is spot on, even if you're not running it at top mag, yeah. uh, mag you can you can do the calculations there pretty easy. Okay. Um, and that would work if you got the drop, you could also, if you have an MRAD. Yeah. Okay, that would yeah, work Yeah, you can well. do the conversion. That's a little, a little hey, there's just another number to throw in there. Yeah, sure, and it's only math, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. We have phones that can calculate that for that us. That is why we have yeah, phones. There's a calculator on it. That's right. That's awesome. So we were shooting this out on the range with some rifles, but if you're into uh, hunting, air guns, you shoot bow, crossbow. We've got our HWS line, which will go on air guns, crossbows. Uh, hey, if you want to shoot it on a recurve bow with some tape, hey, knock yourself out, right? Yeah. But this will pick up all that, right? Yeah, it actually works, like you mentioned, archery, crossbow, pistol, air gun, paintball. It'll detect anything from 150 to 4,000 feet a second. Wow, awesome, okay. All right, man, so what comes in the box when people buy this? So you're gonna get your chronograph here. Mm -hmm. uh, this, no batteries required, has an internal uh, rechargeable lithium ion. Nice. And it'll, so it'll come with a charging cable for that. You can run it off in an external battery pack if you want, but we run these all day on the range with just the charge. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes with a recoil trigger that okay. plugs in the side. So, like the range we were shooting on yesterday, it sometimes had a bunch of people shooting right next to us. Yep. Uh, that kind of messes with your acoustic trigger, so you can go to a recoil trigger. And then it includes this uh, ball head tripod, so it's really easy to um, line, angle and get to, on target. Yeah, to yep. aim, aim with your target with that piece. Awesome. Side. And are there any extra uh, like uh, a la carte accessories? Yeah, we will make a fitted case for this as well. Nice, okay, yeah. awesome. Um, and does this have, is waterproof, that kind of thing? Um, it's water resistant. resistant, okay. Yep. So uh, rain, but no submersion? Yeah. Yeah, you got can't, it. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't check zero my under, underwater gun? Yeah, no, Aww. no, no, Aww. taking it to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so where can people find this? Uh, it's going to be at all your major retailers, your Bass Pro, your Midway USA's, Shields. Uh, you can find them about any retailer. Awesome. Okay. Um, well, guys, if you want to check this out, and of course, if you want to use it with the best optics ever made by mankind, Check out eotechinc.com box. Thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you guys for watching. Train hard, live free. See you next time.